Hey you guys and welcome back to my channel. Hope you guys are having a great day today. So I'll go ahead and be honest, after my haul, I did absolutely nothing. I didn't put anything up. So this morning when I woke up, the first thing that was on the agenda was for me to go ahead and start cleaning. So right now I am going to be prepping the cabinet in order to house the diffusers and also my candles. I have them in the lower cabinet, but I will be moving it up into the loft. I plan on using my fireplace in the cabinet, both left and right of the fireplace, tends to get a little warm. So I don't want it to really mess with the candle and also the diffuser. Right now, what I'm doing is wiping down the cabinets. It wasn't really dirty, just a little dusty, but I wanna go ahead and wipe it down and get everything clean. That way I can put all the items up. Once I get done with that, I'm gonna go ahead and move all my other items you know, upstairs. So now that I'm done with that, I'm gonna go ahead and wipe the coffee table. The table really isn't like dirty, a little dusty, but not dirty. What happened is I got a little bit of wax on the table last night. So pretty much what I'm doing is wiping that area where the wax was at down. And then I'm gonna lightly clean around the bottom edge of the table. I had already cleaned before I went out of town, so I'm not trying to do anything too crazy today. What I'm doing now is rotating the reed sticks that is in my diffuser, so that way I can smell the uh, diffuser a little bit better. This one is the Joe Malone, you guys. It smells so good, which is why I wanted to get a few more for my birthday. And then I am wiping down this accent table. I love it so much. Um, I actually got it on sale. I'm looking to get a second one. I need to get it soon before it's sold out, but it's such a great table and it's really, really heavy. I have definitely been enjoying using it. Now that I'm done with the living room, I'm gonna go ahead and move into the kitchen. While I was in the living room and cleaning the cabinet, I did take a couple of pieces out, things that I know for a fact I'm not gonna be using them anywhere around the house, especially considering things are almost done. So I cleared that out. I'm gonna probably put it in the garage and at some point take it to um, the Goodwill for donations but I am situating my music, responding back to some emails. So as I'm cleaning, I'm also working. And as I'm cleaning, I'm also recycling. It's going to be a lot of dusting, a lot of wiping down, doing the dishes and all of that, you guys. One of the things that I will say is I'm pretty good about keeping most of the areas in the house pretty clean but the kitchen is one area where the kids are that is out of my control. <laughs> I will say that for those of you that are asking about a cleaning schedule, I clean as needed. You'll see in this video how I just kind of go about, depending on how I'm feeling and on the particular day, I may do a little bit more or I may do a little bit less. Even though today was supposed to be a light cleaning, I actually ended up doing quite a bit. Uh -oh. yeah. I met you at the wrong time Then you caught me on that one night Girl, I wanna know How this thing get out of my controls Sip line into your timeline Hey, that body don't lie I didn't care for the hype, yeah But when I saw you tonight Ooh, girl You know just what you doing I'll go and 
thousand miles to show you that I'm right for your love. Hey, keep breaking necks when you passing them by. Make sure they know that you take and love in your vibe. Let's be forever tonight, and I will let you make up your mind. But I can't wait. Where you coming over? Let me be your chauffeur. When you came through that door, yeah Glowing like a headlight Independent all the way, got her bread right, yeah Hard to ignore Sexy body make a jaw hit the floor Won't you come over now? Just let me hold you down Nothing else matching your type Nothing else matching your type, yeah Oh, I feel the magic in the air And when you give me a taste When you give me a taste, let me take it over, drive it like a chauffeur, I will let you make up your mind. So I've gone ahead and moved over to the dining area. Again, another area that is kind of out of my control to keep clean. I am gonna go ahead and get that cut glass put on top, but I'm not doing clear. I'm actually doing a stained glass and currently, due to COVID, it is delayed by about eight weeks. So I'm hoping it gets here a little bit sooner. But what I'm doing is just wiping the table down with a microfiber cloth and a little bit of Dawn. I don't use any chemical based product on the table just because I don't want it to peel the wood. So I'm keeping it really light. And then I'm moving to the island. You're going to see me kind of move back and forth between the island and also the dining area. The main purpose at this point is just to get both areas clean and crumb free. That way I can sweep. I am sweeping today, but later on tonight when everyone is sleeping, I am going to then mop to ensure that everything is as clean as possible. Give me a taste, I swear. When you give me a taste, let me take it over. Drive it like a chauffeur. I will let you make up your mind, but I can't wait. When you coming over, let me be a chauffeur. Had a really good rhythm going with wiping things down and got me a little excited so I went on ahead and I move to the stairs you guys one of the things that I'm really happy about is the time and effort that I took to make sure that I had the two coats of paint added into the board and batten on the steps because the paint made everything really easy to clean. I'm simply spraying a little bit of Caldrea just so that when you're going up the steps, it smells really nice. And the microfiber cloth is wet with warm water. That is all I'm using and I'm wiping it down. I could have just used that and it would have come clean. But the kids in the whole outside, I mean, the walls are always dirty. I wipe the walls down at least twice a month and of course as needed if it gets crazy but as you saw i was wiping down the island and i for some particular reason i didn't want it to end so i was like you know what let me go ahead and clean the walls since i already had like a really good motion going on and then i'm wiping down um the stairs the good thing about the light color is it looks really good on pictures and sometimes especially with the exposure you really can't see when something is really dirty but the negative about it is when you come up close on it and you're right in front of the item, you can definitely see when it's dirty. So it does require just a little bit more TLC. So in some areas, I can just clean it really quickly, but then other areas, it does require that, you know, I put a little bit more elbow grease in that area for me right now is the stairs, but I don't mind because it looks so good once everything is wiped down. Right now, the wall is looking like a fresh coat of paint, so I'm very satisfied with it. Let me take it over, drive it like a chauffeur. I will let you make up your mind, but I can't wait. When you coming over, let me be a chauffeur. So now I have moved back into
into the kitchen and I'm just wiping the stove area. I think I told you guys in a previous video that my son is cooking now. So the kitchen has basically become the vein of my existence. I'm trying to show him how to do things. But again, you know, I'm a little bit of a micromanager when it comes to how I like things to be. So I still end up cleaning it. And of course, while cleaning, I have to stay hydrated. So I got some water. But now I am moving on to the window seat. You guys, I think I say this every single time I pan the camera to this area. This is really my heart. I love this window seat so much. What I'm doing is just refluffing the pillows, shaking off some of those crumbs that's um, there. Again, in a previous video, if you're new, I did share that this entire area is performance fabric. So I really don't have any issues with it being dirty. Maybe around December, I may just take all of the casings out, take them to the cleaners and have them clean them and put it back. But honestly, it's not dirty. All I really need is like a damp microfiber cloth and I just wipe it down and spray it a little bit and it's good to go. But now that I have this area cleaned and pretty much straightened out, I'm gonna go ahead and sweep. You really can't see anything, but the kids, you know, they have chips and everything there. So the crumbs are small enough, but big enough for the buggies to come into the house. So I just want to make sure everything is good. And once I'm done, I'm wiping it down, wiping down the trim. Again, I'm using another microfiber cloth that has a little bit of um, solution on there. So I can go ahead and clean everything and sweep, just straighten everything up, making sure it's really, really right. Again, this is my drapery, you guys. I said it during the tour and I'm gonna say it again. I really, really love this corner. It's just really simple. But again, the fact that this is a space that I really use and it doesn't look used is what really makes me happy. So I'm excited. <laughs> Now that I'm done, I'm going to go ahead and move into the kitchen again and start wiping down the cabinets. I don't know if you guys notice, but if I'm doing something really extraneous like the steps, I'll then go to the stovetop. I'll then move to the window seat. I'll then go to the cabinets. That way I'm not continuously doing things that are going to have me one out of breath, two extremely tired. So I kind of go from something that's, you know, a little labor intensive to something a little bit lighter. This is just what I do. You don't have to do it, but I just want to be like, why should you keep going back and forth between the rooms? That's pretty much what I'm doing. I don't want to tire myself out while I'm cleaning. So again, like I just move kind of like back and forth. <laughs> Now that I'm done, I'm moving into my living room, you guys. And here is the infamous sofa. So the company did reach back out to me and essentially um, they were going to give me about 50% what I paid for the sofa. So I'm thinking about keeping it. They did offer to, you know, pick it up for repairs again. I just don't really feel like not having my sofa for the holiday. I don't know. I'm still really going back and forth with what I want to do. What I'm doing now is just attaching the cushions to the sofa into the seat itself. This is really coming to the end of the video, which is my favorite part because I get to really kind of calm my body, calm my brain, light my candle. And even though I'm done cleaning, I'm not done with working. So I'm gonna do all of this and then I'm going to do a little bit of work. Mm -hmm. 